Hello everyone, and this is a demo of my Z scripter program. Uh, the program is going to be designed to code ACS as well as decorate for Zdoom based engines. Okay, so this is the basic start screen after the splash screen, um, which will have version information and stuff. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with file new, and decorate will not be available with release, but it'll come later. Like basically like its own beast. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll go to a ACS file. Okay. So now we got various uh, features to this window here. We got a glossary properties panel. Uh, we got the actual text for the um, actual code. And then we have a browser down here which you can see is already set to the ACS uh, ZDoom wiki. Um, and you can use this to surf any um, any of these glossary definitions if you want, you know. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a simple script here. And I'll go script one void and open bracket, close bracket and I'll go ahead and select right here in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and select something from the glossary. So I'll just uh, and going through the glossary, you can see it's got the built-in definitions as well as the action specials. So I'll come down here to the action specials and go to door underscore open. Okay. I'll change the tag to 1. Change the speed to 16. And these are just random values I'm putting in. Now, I don't really know what light tag is. So what I'm going to do is actually use this definition button down here. So you notice when I click that, it automatically loaded the glossary definition into the wiki and it, now we can see what it is light tag tag of a sector to perform a gradual light effect in okay it says uh, light tag is non-zero gradual light effect is done in the tagged sectors uh, so we'll just go ahead and just put a zero in there all right and now we'll push use and you see it put it in the actual ACS text Okay, so now that we have that in there, um, you can see we have the, uh, what we can do now is actually go file, save, and we can save this as uh, testing ACS file, and save, of course this renames to uh, testing ACS file to ACS, and we can also compile, and I'll compile, and you see it's popping up a lot on the screen, and it says ACS successfully compiled. So that lump is uh, that actual that ACS lump is actually generated for um, importing into you know, a uh, watt editing program such as uh, XWE um, or Slumped. Okay, so um, also has a couple other features here. Um, you'll notice it opened a new tab when I open a new file. I can actually open another ACS. Okay, and you notice it gives me all the same windows. But what I can do is I got some browser options down here. I can uh, click this expand arrow, and you'll notice it moves it up to the top, and you have a whole tab you, use for, you can use for web page now. So now you have you can come back here and tab back to your original file, and do whatever you want here, and you can also come here and um, look up any definitions that you want, you know, in a full screen view without having to scroll through this little tiny window here. Um, there's, of course, it has the address bar as well, so you can visit a site while, uh, let me go ahead and uh, put the HTTP in there, so it'll load it. Okay, and this is, this is my site right here, um, so, and you can see that, uh, or YouTube that is, um, but anyway, you can you, know, you can see that you can load up web other web pages as well um, in full screen, and you can just click the home button. You can go back to the wiki. So with that, um, that's pretty much everything I have to show right now. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer before I can release a stable version, um, which will just have the ACS side of it. Um, and I plan on getting the decorate side done later on. So with that, um, that's it.